When is an LLC needed? Hi, I'm Tom, a business lawyer at the Collateral Based Law Firm. I'm here to help you out with your business journey so that you can learn when you need or do not need a corporate liability shield like an LLC or a corporation. If you are watching this, welcome to the club. I'm a small business owner too. So are you. We are a nation of small business owners working to make our dreams come true and do something that makes you feel like you have never worked a day in your life. You have a dream and then you go into business. Welcome to America. Today, we are gonna go over when you need to get a liability shield for your business. There is no requirement that you create an LLC before you go into business. You can just start sending out invoices and creating value from your labor or sales of goods. Start helping people and charge appropriately. To see if it is time to start an LLC, examine your business. Do you have partners? Do you have a high risk transaction? Do you sell food? How about anything where you have a location that could be the site of a slip or a fall? The keys to know when to form an LLC or not has to do with your business's liability and the tax burden that you face, which may also be a liability. Many businesses are sole proprietors, so they cannot have any partnership or management disputes. They're a manager of one, the sole proprietor. Therefore, they are far less likely to need an LLC until we look at what they are doing or how much money they are making. Take, for example, your business. It's a blog that you have monetized with advertisements or merch or online courses. Does that business need an LLC? Not until they are making tens of thousands of dollars a year. And why not? Well, first, the transactions are all at a low price point, a few dollars for the online ads, and some sales of merchandise money. There's not much risk there. Someone is not going to have a slip and fall on your website. No one is going to get food poisoning from your online course. There is no liability benefit from splitting the cash flow away from the owner of the website. In this situation, it does not make sense to form an LLC until you get enough money each year to get hit on taxes so much that it makes more sense to become like an S-Corp so that you can work for yourself and get a paycheck from your own company and then earn lower tax on the dividends. But that is a tax question. Those change over time depending on what the tax code says. Let's move on. What if you are a sole proprietor of a bar and restaurant? Then you should become an LLC immediately. You have huge risks, slip and fall risks, food poisoning risks, over serving a customer that gets in a car accident on the way home from your place risk. An LLC allows the owner to be a legally separate person than the cash flow. How about an independent contractor that does home improvements. Then you want a liability shield because you could redo a kitchen or a bath and that could cost 40 grand or more. You want that to be the company's problem, not the owner's problem. Large transactional liability is another reason to form the LLC. So if you are in enterprise sales, get an LLC. Finally, partners complicate things far more. When you break up the ownership of the company, all sorts of new things arise. How do partners exit the business? How do new people get into the business? What duties do the owners have to the business? Do they have different levels of shareholders? And many, many more complex business operation and organizational questions arise when partners are involved. Multiple owners of any business, as far as I'm concerned, should always have an LLC or corporate you know, formation. So uh, maybe it's actually gonna be a C-Corp, for example. But still, they would have that corporate liability. General partnerships are just way too dangerous in my book. Let's sum up what you have learned about when an LLC is needed. And if this was helpful, give us a like and subscribe for more of these. First, you need an LLC when you have premises liability, brick and mortar stores. Next, you need an LLC when you have transactional liability. I cannot stress this enough. Protect those big fact contract checks. Third, you need an LLC when the tax man says you earn too much as a sole proprietor. So be sure to get yourself an accountant tax laws change all the time. And fourth, you need an LLC when you have partners. Trust me, have an exit plan before you start with any partners. Now that you know when you need an LLC, let's talk about how to form one on our next episode.